So continuing that conversation, Marlon Martinez talked to a couple more business owners in the crossroads about that same kind of thought process. Marlon, what are they telling you? Hey, good morning, guys. So the big thing here for many of these businesses is that they say that they weren't given any notice before the Royals announced publicly they wanted to build that in the crossroads. Now, one of the business I, I talked to is Mercy Seat Tattoo. They have been in the crossroads since 2005. For them, the crossroads means more than just another area in Kansas City. It's a place that gave them an opportunity while also helping create a community within the arts district. Chet Duvenci says the impact more so would affect the history that has been built in the area. We're one of the unique neighborhoods of Kansas City. When people come to Kansas City to visit and they say they had a great time and they loved it, they're not talking about going to Cheesecake Factory or Applebee's. They're talking about coming to our neighborhoods like the Crossroads, Westport, Brookside, all of these unique neighborhoods that we have in Kansas City. And just on the corner of 16th and Grand is Salon on the Grand. It's a fairly new salon in the crossroads, having been there just for three years. Erin Barrow says the community there is unmatched, and although she wants to see the city thrive, she doesn't want it to come at the expense of people's jobs. Mixed emotions just because it's like with being newer to this area, I definitely want what's good for the city but at the same time I also like want what's good for the block and everybody here is just so supportive and so it would be kind of sad just to see like all of the businesses like myself that have worked so hard to just kind of go away and have to be moved. And that's so we want to reiterate what Royals owner John Sherman said this week at spring training. He says right now the team is in the process of meeting with the business owners to talk about the future plans and the footprint of the stadium and hopes to do that by this week. Now again, this will be up to voters in April if they decide to vote yes for the new stadium. We'll make sure to keep you guys updated both on air and online with the latest on this. Taylor and Lindsay. All right, Marlon, live in our studio this morning. Marlon, thank you very much.